Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing this animation thing. I just decided we should have a little fun, right? We've learned a few things over the past tutorial. Let's put them all together and see how we can make some simple motion graphic. All right, let's get to it. Let's pull in a fusion comp, put more of the playhead to it, and go to the fusion page. The first thing we're going to be creating is the front face of the credit card. We could easily pull in a 3D model, but I just want to go through the process so you can see what you can do essentially in a 3D space in Fusion. Let's put in a background node. Let's drop the after down to zero. Let's pull in another background node. Let's change this to gradient. Let's make this color. Let's create maybe something like this. Then this white, not to be completely white. It's something like that. So we'd have something like this. Let's pull this here. Pull this here. And um, let's connect this to this. And then pull this here. Help that. Let's get a rectangle mask, connect that to the mask input of match one. So we have something like that. I want the corners to be curved. So I go to rectangle one polygon. I go to corner radius and I increase this to a scissor point. One, two, five. Four. To regards, see, so the curve is just right. Next thing we do is we want to have like a logo on the background. The name I want to use for this, let me just first create the name of the bank. So let's pull in a text node. Connect this to the merge. This will automatically create another merge. Drag that to the viewer. There's no entry for the text, so nothing shows. So I want to type wonder. Oops, cap stop was on, one the bank. I want to make it right aligned, so I click on this, on page anchor, I click on this. Then I want to change the font to this, this looks nicer. Then I want to change the side of the text to something and make it black. I'll zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. We can move the text, so I'm clicking on this and dragging it to. I want to move it to the top right hand corner, reduce the size a wee bit more. So, you know, it's 0 0.02. And yep. I want the logo of the bag to be here, but I want the logo of the bag that should be here to be 3D. So I'm going to leave this space here. I want to use a W to represent the logo for the bank. I pull in another text node. I connect that to this merge. Sorry, and connect that to this merge. So it creates another merge. Click on this type W caps. I pick this font. Burst. Mm. Try this to the VR, you see this. I like the look of it. Then I turn this back that. Then I want it to compress along the X axis so it's not this wide. So I click on here, add a transform node. I go to size, uncheck new size and aspect, and then check that. I'm gonna try this to the VR so we see what we're doing. And I See, we are good. Let's put it as 0 0.6. See, let's put it at 0 0.5 actually. 0 0.5 looks a little too, too thin, so we put it at 0 0.6. Let's drag this to the viewer. I want this logo here. You know, we are going to reserve this space for the 3D logo, but 
but this I want this to be big on the background. So I go to the text and I increase the size a wee bit. Drag it down. Show it here. The sun like this. If you want to make it perfect, let's see. Control space, read. Let's pull the background node, drop the alpha to zero, connect that to the grid, connect this grid to what you have here. Let's disconnect that, connect this to this. I know I'm drawing this to the viewer. So the grid lets us see what we're doing. So I just moved and move the text to be something, something like this. Okay. You're thinking I should reduce the size a little bit. I need to move the text back so it fits into the grid just perfectly like that. And then we can turn out the grid. We're good to go. But I want this logo to fit into this mask. So what I do, copy this and just connect this from there. I move this here. Move this forward. Then I move this here. I connect this here. Right now connect this to a triangle mask also to this merge. So it fits into there. One other thing I don't want it to be this was bright. So what I'll do, I go to merge five. And the blend, I'll turn it down a bit so it's something faded. Right, so we're good to go on that. So we have the name of the back, the logo in the background. The next thing we need to do is, you know, there are some text that's usually on the face of it. Like, is it a debit card or a credit card? And then the validity date. And that's just about it. So I keep adding those. I add a text node. Connect this. I write um, valid to change this to Korea and change this to regular. Reduce the line spacing a lot, then write align it. I'm going to reduce the size a whole lot. Make it black. And drag this to here. 0.02. It's fine. Make a copy of this. And paste it. Connect back to here. Drag this to the viewer. I drag this here. And what's here? This will be the debit card. Get rid of this a little bit to the side. I'm going to delete this grid thing we do here. Now I think we're all set now for the 3D parts because I want the name embossed. I want the card number embossed. I want the validity date embossed. One other thing we need to add is the Visa logo or Mastercard logo. I just don't have a Visa logo. So, okay, I drag that in. I'll rename it to Visa. Connect that to here. Drag this to the viewer. It's pretty large and it's colored. I don't want it to be colored. So I click on it, press Control space bar. I look for brightness and contrast node. And I drop down the saturation. I increase the gawa a little bit so it looks a little faded in alignment with the color scheme we have there. We go here, drag this up, bring in a transform node for we'll start there. Drag this transform node here, reduce the size right a lot, drag that to this corner. 
Should we just in this clip more? It's fucked. One to five sounds just fine. Let me put that there. Now the resin shall set up of the 3D part of the card. I want to arrange this a little bit because it's a bit long, right? So I'm gonna just drag this down here, drag this here, drag that here, and then pull this text here and drag this pull here. So it's a bit more compact. Then we pull this, then we add a, an image plane, connect this to the image plane. Drag this to the viewer. We can close this media pool. We can hold down control and scroll the mouse button. We can hold down alt and tilt and um, pan. Now that we're done with that, let's get in the merge node. Connect the image pane to the merge node. And we start with 3D assets. Let's bring in a text 3D node. Connect that to merge 3D1. We go here to the extrusion. We put it 0 0.2 extrusion. Drag this to the view so we see what we're doing. 0 0.2 is a lot. 0 0.02 is more like it. Change the text to cool here. Reduce it by a whole lot. Then from bold, change it to regular. And the extrusion. Give devil divisions. Increase it by a little bit. Next say four. Bevel depth 0 0.02. Bevel width 0 0.02. Let's put that 0 0.002 now. That's better. Then we go here. We click replace material. Add that. And hit add um, a chrome shader by going to effects, tools, I'm sorry, templates, fusion, shaders, drag a chrome shader and connect it to replace material. So this looks a bit shiny. So I'll need to move this debit card number. And let's see. The debit card is this. That's the debit card. So I go to layout and I move it up a bit. And this text, I need to reduce the size a whole lot more. So it's 0 0.05. To that's the right, right, right size. I copy it, I paste it, and I add it to this merge 3D. And this time I want to type the name of the card holder. It's mad resolve. Drag that up here, like that here. It's too big, so I drop this to. Point two four, but not like zero point two three five. Sound thing like that, and we apply the same chrome and replace material. Copy, or better still, I just add Control Space Bar, replace material, and I connect this chrome to that. So we have the same. Shade of that in both without having to recreate the same chrome, right? So we have the name, we have that, we need the validity date. Copy this, paste this, and we've done control space power replaced material. Connect that and connect this to this. The same chrome, we use that for that. I think we should put all these on one side and this chrome should just be underneath here. Let's drag this there, drag this here, and drag this here. Pull this up and put this chrome in the center of it all. Okay. It's not so tidy, but guys, hang in there for me.
right okay so here we go now we have this going this text here we need to change it to let's say we say 12 40 and we drag that down here to the validity point here and we'll put it here okay now we're almost done with the front of the card one other thing we need to add is the logo of the back remember we used just a text so we drag another text 3d this time we type just w capital go to palace paladin gradient extrude it and then we go here and connect that to this merge node we can use the same chrome at this point i think i'm going to just drag another crew yes yeah, so it doesn't get too messy click here control space bar replace material connect this here and then we have this going i want to reduce the size of this a whole lot go here drop the size but a lot but one thing i need to do also do is turn it the way we adjusted this logo here i go here then let's close effects to turn this this way i click on here and i can go here and set it like that then i want to compress it horizontally to do that i click on here i add a transform 3d and go to scale uncheck lock xy then the x-axis and compress it so we have the same slant as the logo in the background something like this then we we'll move this up this up here let's go back to the text which is the size a wee bit more something like this let's zoom in a bit to see what we're doing let's hold down control and scroll the mouse wheel now let's move it up click on this to set this back let's use the transform to move it up we have to drop something like this over here head and let it here to implement this and i want to move wonder bank down a little bit we go share the text for wonder bank and go to layout and then drop it down a little bit then this logo we just created move it to the right yes something like that but i think it's still too large reduce the size to 55 and go to transform move it up a little that's good so now that we have that done we have the front face don't drive back to the viewer let's go back to so 400% so we'll see what we're doing now we have the front face done 